Hey guys, and welcome to Gino's Gadgets. So today, guys, we're gonna talk about something that isn't talked about very much in the tech community, although it's something that affects all of us. We're gonna talk about a word called ecosystem. So today, we're gonna take a look at the technology ecosystems that are out there currently and how they affect how you use your gadgets on a day-to-day -day basis. So without further ado, I'm going to read what Google says that ecosystem is. Actually, I'll let her read it. Okay, Google, what is ecosystem? Ecosystem, a biological community of interacting organisms and their physical environment. That was the complicated definition of the word. Now I'm going to read word for word the more condensed version. Ecosystem, a complex network or interconnected system. So that's the definition that we want to focus on today is the connected conglomerate of devices, how they connect and how they affect your experience. Okay guys, so I have my phone here because I wanna start off showing you the application that I'm gonna be demoing here to show off how ecosystems can interconnect even between different brands, rival brands even at that. So here I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 and in the background here is my Mac computer, okay? Two rival brands, Samsung and Apple. But what I want to show you is an application that really helps me day to day when I'm potentially expecting a phone call or a text on my Samsung Galaxy S8, but I may be doing some work on my Mac computer. So that application is right here. I'll open the folder here and I'll go to where it says side sync, this application here. So I'm going to press side sync. And I'm going to open up side sync on my device. And you see it starts searching for a device that it can connect to. And I'll open side sync on here as well. So you see side sync and there's my device. So I'm gonna click on Galaxy S8. And now I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna put this away. And what you'll see is, and I'll bring the frame up just a tad. You'll actually see pretty much a full version of my Galaxy S8 on my screen. So you have basic notifications if I'm working and don't have this on my screen, you'll just have this or you'll have a little pop up in the corner or over here in the corner that will show notifications, phone calls or stuff that come in. But even taking it to, the, to, to a further degree is this here. Basically, this is the functionality of my entire phone. So I can go to the internet and search the internet. I can check a text message. I can go into the Google Play Store. Pretty much anything I need to do on my device it's accessible here to me. I can go into my app drawer. And I can open up Best Buy. I can go to my home screen. I pretty much have the entire functionality of my device right here on my computer. And that's really, really cool and really helpful sometimes. So I'll minimize this. 
And it's cool because this area here allows me to drag and drop files. I don't know if you can see that in the frame, but I can drag and drop pictures and files back and forth between my two devices. Now, here is my Samsung Galaxy S8. At any point, um, I can pick it up and resume functionality right here on the device if I need to. But there's no need to. If, I'm, if I've got my phone over on the charger across the room or downstairs, I still have complete connectivity here. I won't miss a phone call. I won't miss a text because it'll show up here. And whenever I want to see the screen of my device, I just quickly hit phone screen. And I will see the entire screen of my phone right here. I'll unlock my main screen, and here we go. I can go make a phone call and get it on the internet. I can basically open any apps. I can check my email, calendar, Google Drive, pretty much anything. If I want to get on YouTube, I can. But basically, I have full functionality of my device right here on the screen of my Mac. And that is called Samsung's SideSync. So you can use this SideSync feature with a Windows PC. You can use it with a Mac, um, anything running Mac OS, uh, one of the later Mac OS um, devices, you can use it. Also, you can use it if you have a Samsung tablet. So if you have a Samsung tablet, um, that is running, I believe, 6.0 or higher. You can use this feature and, and have ex accessibility of your Samsung phone on your tablet. Uh, so it's really cool to see all these devices interconnecting, um, even devices from a different ecosystem, from, from rival brands like Samsung and uh, Mac. And that's one of the things that I really like about Samsung. This is a very, very helpful feature. Um, you have the functionality of your entire phone right here on the screen of your computer. So, I mean, how many times have you been doing work, but you needed to, to juice up your phone and your phone's over on a charger, but you take a chance at missing a phone call or a text that you're planning on getting. You don't have to have an iPhone and a Mac to do this. This is something that syncs with your device even from rival brands. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, I really feel like, guys, in my, in my personal opinion, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is hands down the best phone you can buy. As of August the 2nd, 2017, I said it. <laughs> I, I, I interact with all kinds of phones. Pretty much every flagship phone that's out that's you know worth you know your time i've interacted with it pretty extensively or tested it or tried it out this is hands down the best phone out and so if you're considering a galaxy s8 and you have a mac computer or an ipad or something like that you're not completely you know it's not you know a situation of like well hey it's not going to go with any of my stuff you know I depend on my Mac computer for work. I'm an artist or whatever. And I like the fact that my iPhone syncs up with my Mac and I can drag and drop pictures and things like that. And it syncs all my stuff, my calendar and everything. Well, so can your Samsung Galaxy S8. And this side sync app proves that. Um, and so it's it's a pretty, pretty cool and pretty neat. So that's it for Geno's Gadgets today. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.